So bed is prepped. There's two shower liners underneath the sheet and then all the pads over it. I really don't believe I'm gonna use a pillow because I'm not really a pillow sleeper normally. So I'm not really gonna worry about no pillows. And yes, tomorrow is the day, 5 a.m. So it is currently 9.45 in Florida and my time for my surgery is 5 a.m. They told me to stop eating at midnight, but I'm gonna stop eating at 10. I've been in the medical world before. I just finished cooking some chicken, but um, I don't feel like midnight to five or even six is enough. So I'm gonna stop eating at 10. I was told not to pee. You gotta pee again at surgery. And so in, in preparation of trying to help with recovery and everything, I have this pre-op drink. It might be backwards because I'm on my iPhone. I'll post a little screenshot or something, but this is the CF pre-op drink. I'm gonna take one now and then I'm gonna take another one. I'm gonna give to my fiance to give to me once he picks me up and I'm gonna take a pain pill. The unfortunate thing is he does not give you a prescription until after surgery. So I highly suggest you have some pills on deck, see your local pharmacist if you know what I'm talking about, um, and get you some pain pills, some Tylenol 8s or whatever. I, I believe you're not supposed to take ibuprofen, but I have to double check on that, but definitely have some pain pills on him. So it tastes like a diet Gatorade or something. Like it's not a bad taste. So this will probably be the last thing. I'll probably drink a bottle of water underneath this. I'm scared too, cause I can't pee in the morning. That's really gonna piss me off. That's probably what's gonna irritate me in the morning. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go to sleep or not, but I gotta be there at five. It probably takes us like 30, 40 minutes to get there. So we probably leave here no later than like 4 15, 4 30. I am coming home in my truck. We're just gonna take the seats out. I bought an air mattress to put in the back and I'm going to line it with shower curtains just like I did. Yeah, shower liners or whatever like I did. But the bed, I'm gonna do the same thing for the car. Probably need to be a little more comfy. So this thing cost me more than like 30 bucks, maybe give or take oh, from Walmart. It's currently 4.35 in the morning. My call time was 5 a.m. So I am here a little early because you know, we just want to be on time and I got to pee. <laughs> so it is now 5.04. I got here early as I told y'all before. Um, they did get here at five. I, Dr. Cannon walked past at exactly five o'clock. So I am now in like a little waiting room. I see a blood pressure cuff. I believe this is where I will get my IV. I do see an IV pole here and I'm not gonna really work on that chair. Oh. How you doing? So this is exactly about 24 hours after surgery. Um, my surgery time call time was 5 a.m. By 5:30, 5:45, I was getting hooked into an IV for anesthesia. Um, Dr. Cannon is really, really cool. We had a good conversation about what he could and couldn't do. He really didn't say what he couldn't do. He said, I had really good skin, so that's what really makes the difference. And that he was gonna be able to get him a bulk amount of fat off of me. And he said, would hit my stomach and my back, which I'm surprised. Um, so right now I'm measuring at a 42. Prior to surgery, I was a 47. So for me to be five inches down and I'm swollen and there's padding under here, I'm very well satisfied. And then I think I might be five inches bigger around my hips and butt. So like I need some more. <laughs> but I have big thighs, so right here, 53 and a half. I probably was measuring at a 49 before surgery. So I honestly feel like I'm probably gonna go closer back. I think I'm gonna lose some of that, who knows. And then I have padding on. You guys can't see. It's some pads right here. So pretty much all my incision wounds have like gauze on them. So I don't even think that's my true measurement in the hips, but I really spoke, I told them to focus on my hips and then, you know, just add to what I already have. Cause I've always had big thighs, so I can kind of carry something. So my biggest thing was I wanted my waist to be smaller than my hips and ass. And he definitely did that. So like I said, this little piece right here, this piece right here is added to the booty that I don't have, <laughs> but that's fine. I was told not to take my faha off until after post-op, I think. Well, they'll tell me my instructions after post-op. I'll probably buy me another faha mm. so I can put a clean one on and wash this one because that's like the, that was the worst part right now, sleeping and it's wet and there's really nothing you can do about it. So I'm douching my faha peroxide to help get the blood out while I wash it. So I'm gonna wash it while I'm in the shower. It definitely is coming out almost immediately, so. Get y'all some peroxide to clean your eyes. 
Today is day two, post-op is Sunday. I had surgery Friday. I had a massage yesterday, damn near passed out. Um, she was able to get my back real good because I was able to lay down, but when she had to do my stomach and I had to stand up, it just, yeah, I was getting lightheaded and I just didn't want to pass out. So I told her we could just wait until the next day. Um, either she gonna come today or tomorrow. I can't remember because I think Sundays are off days. But baby, they should have told me to do some push-ups because lifting yourself up between my arms and my stomach, I'm gonna have some abs under here afterwards and some muscles because you literally have to push yourself up off the bed every time you get up. But I've been, I walk around every time I pee. She gave me some stretches to help with blood circulation as well. But they're really just like lunges. So I kind of like when I walk, I don't know if I can show y'all, but when I walk, she wants me to swing my legs in. And she said the blood circulation will help, help the fat stay. So pretty much when I walk, I walk big strides and I kind of swing my arm in. Let me see if I can show y'all a little better. So when I walk, I walk like this. still sore. I don't sleep much. I sleep for maybe a couple hours and then I wake up either I gotta pee or I'm just uncomfortable or I just start sweating really bad. So it is not something for the week, but we're getting there. I'm five inches off the table. I was five inches smaller even with my swelling. So over time I know it'll get even better. But I was able to load the dishwasher today. I made me some eggs. So I'm trying to get into doing for myself more because my fiance is going to be going back to work. So yeah, there you have it. I'm about to make me some salmon. We are three days post-op. Or would it be two days? I want to say three. Because you have Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, three days post-op. It's not for the week. I'm pretty sure I said it already. I'm taking my walk that I take around the house because we want to keep the blood flowing. I don't know how anybody could lay down the whole time anyway, because it's not comfortable at all. Um, laying on my stomach, I'm a stomach sleeper, but it's so sore and swollen. I get my second massage today. Things that I wish I would have known different was to do some damn push-ups because you literally use your arms to get up every single time. And baby, my arms are noodles right now because I'm not used to I'm not used to pushing myself up like that, especially being, you know, not 100%. My appetite is trash, so I have to kind of make myself eat. My massage therapist told me to eat steak, chicken, brown rice, and spinach. So I pretty much got me a, a Chipotle bowl that took some of it. And then I had some protein drinks as well. And to make sure I get a gallon of water in, which hasn't been hard because I'm thirsty all the time. I have like dry mouth. I don't know if it's the effects of the pain medicine or the antibiotics, but it is what it is helping me. It changed my diet completely. So I'm pretty sure once all my swelling and fluid go down, I'm assuming I would have lost some weight. I went in at 256 was the day before is what they weighed me at. So I'm probably not gonna weigh myself for a while. I was five inches, who I'm sorry, <laughs> five inches smaller off the table that's with padding and swelling and fluid on my stomach so i'm hoping to get another five inches smaller <laughs> when this is all said and done but other than that that's all i have and then child you know i'm be acting a fool so my fiance tell me i'm dead ass sleep snoring i stop snoring and i turn my head because all i do is turn my head back and forth and i say he told me throw it back about <laughs> What am I doing in my sleep? Like, I'm ready to turn up already. And I be fake dancing around the house to my ability. But today my gravity chair is supposed to come. The lighting is changing because I walk in between rooms. But my gravity chair is supposed to come today. And I'm going to get another massage today. So I'm hoping to get at least a little comfortable with watching TV and stuff. I might not sleep in the gravity chair, but we'll see. But I'm hoping to get some more comfort um, cause I don't know how it's gonna feel to lay on my back anyway, cause it, my back kinda is sore too, but I don't think it's as sore as my stomach. But we shall see. I will keep y'all updated. So Bay is making my BBL chair, cause laying on your stomach is for like it's too much. So he just took the bar off. He said it was four screws, so it's the bar that might have been touching my bottom. Some people say they put a um pillow on it we still might have to but we'll see but he is putting my chair together so i could get off my stomach sometime today was a day <laughs> i got my another massage 
and I found out I had a seroma, so we gotta get that taken care of. No alarm, just gotta get it taken care of. So we got the chair going, and my massage therapist said she felt like I have a seroma right here, but I think the problem is this is a 4X Faja, and they expected me to be a big titty bee. <laughs> and I'm a little titty itty committee, so like my tit stops right here and then the rest of the breast area is here. So none of this is getting compression like it should, like the rest of down here is. So sometime this week, I'm definitely going to be getting another five because yeah, that's why this part I feel like is not progressing in these last couple days because it's really not getting any compression other than me laying on it. And now that I got this chair, really not gonna be laying on it. So we gonna figure it out. So my massage therapist couldn't make it today, so. Bay to the rescue. You're doing a wonderful job, by the way. <laughs> but we just doing some self massages just so I don't be skipping a day. Um, we are five days post op. So, yeah. Today is day 13. It's Thursday, early in the morning, one in the morning. And I put some clothes on and it made me feel better. The reason why I haven't really been recording is because I've been really, really in a bad mood. Like, this surgery stuff is not for the week at all. Like I'm never comfortable when I do sleep. It's because I'd have had an edible, a pain med, and some, <laughs> some melatonin. Like a, a dude, a girl be drugged up. But I tried on some clothes. I'm gonna try to let y'all see. And it's given how I look when I have my compression. Like when I have my, I have a, I call it the instant BBL. And it's like a, it suck you up here and it got pit pads. And that's how I feel now. Like I feel like I got some compression and hip pads now compared to um, before. He definitely gave me some booty and hips. That's what I can say. And I got some ways to work on my stomach because I'm still swollen, of course. Swollen, possibly fluid, and possibly still, you know, fat. Cause they only take four liters of fat off of you. So here we are. I'm gonna do some more updated pictures in a day or two, cause I think I'm just do every two weeks progression. I have been horrible with, with um, compressing because I hate being feeling bad. Like sometimes I get lightheaded when I compress and certain things. So I haven't been able to compress like I want to. I'm hoping within the next few days or so, I'll feel better about compressing so I can get this down like I want to. But we are coming along. Cause all like I can say, my foundation is coming along. Like, my expectations for off the tables have been met, but I'm gonna come and do like a tip video along with this blog and stuff because it's a lot of stuff that I didn't, I wasn't aware of. As many BBL videos, I didn't watch the surgery groups. Nobody told me about the uncomfortableness when it's time to sleep. Okay. <laughs>